It has to be fake, right? Yeah, no way it's real. <laughs> no, no way. Hi guys, my name is Jessen Muffin and welcome back to Danganronpa. Okay, let's continue with our craziness that we have. Okay, yeah. That's right. We had some free time and we had to figure out what we we're gonna do. We uh, can talk to Hifumi. Uh, if I talk to Hifumi, it's gonna be something perverted. I know it. <laughs> Have you ever experienced it? The sweltering heat of the summer cons, the frigid cold of the winter cons. It's my duty to create a product that will satisfy the brave fans who suffer their passion. I don't have time to be cooped up in a place like this. Hmm, should I hang out with Hifumi for a while? Let's spend time with Hifumi. <laughs> you wanna hear what I have to say, huh? Well, what would you like to talk about? Comics? Video games? Anime? Collectible figures? Take your pick. I listened to Hifumi's half-obsessed ranting for longer than I would have liked. <laughs> Hifumi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hifumi a president? Uh, no. I don't want to give him my thong. <laughs> <laughs> I see quality in you, Mr. Naegi. True quality. And that's why I've decided to present to you my lecture on the nature of fan fiction. If we're gonna be friends, you must be fully informed. I will permit no fanfic bigotry whatsoever. I don't think I have any fanfic bigotry. I mean... I don't really know anything about that kind of geeky stuff anyway. <laughs> she, there it is! To you, fanfic equals geeky, right? But is that all that word is worth? Huh? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> hmm. But that's okay. Because I take the word geek as a compliment. For you see, there is nobody on earth so full of knowledge as a geek. Somebody. In a sense, a geek is like an expert, and that's right, I'm a total expert. A successful musician must necessarily be a music geek. A good movie director is a movie geek, you see. It's those experts, those geeks, who open up the world to others. So when you say that writing fanfic is geeky, you're recognizing us as true experts. Okay, so um, what exactly is fanfic then? Oof, super duper direct question for the win. <laughs> Basically, we all have different kinds of stores and events, right? These are where groups of holy warriors sell their own stuff based on games, comics, anime, and everything. And the stuff those people make is fanfic? <laughs> <laughs> comics are the most common creation, but it is also included games, music, and even merchandise. <laughs> By the way, there's a name for when a group of fanfic creators come together. Specifically, it's any organized group that comes together to release their work. A group that comes together to release their work. A circle, a square, or a menagerie? A circle? Is it a circle? It sure is! Of course you knew that! I mean, it's only common sense. <laughs> I certainly hope you don't expect me to explain such common sense topics every time. Well, like I said, I don't know too much about this stuff. This goes well beyond I don't know too much stuff. But I guess I can't blame you. The propaganda never touches on that. So as a fanfic ambassador, by the time I'm done with you, you'll be itching to buy a premium pass to the next fanfic con. Right? Obviously, he's excited, but... 
<laughs> That's it for today. I hope you're excited for your next lesson. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for the two of us. I'm kind of scared to see what the future has in store for the two of us. Okay, our report card has been updated based on experience with him. You just unlocked the skill handiwork. Give yourself a pat on the back. You earned it. Yeah, anytime I talk to Hifumi, definitely. After we were done, I decided to head back to my room for a while. Oh no. Okay. Hifumi knocked all the energy out of me. There's still lots of time left in the day. I don't really feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Alright. Leave the area? Yes. Hi, Sayaka, baby. We should try and speak with other people, though. Huh. Let's see. It might be important to talk to Byakuya. He seems like the type of person that would be willing to kill. Uh, I want to talk to Kyoko, though. She seems really knowledgeable on these things. Kind of mysterious, too. Kyutaka Kyoko. Alright, I'll try and use a doorbell like a civil human being. Okay, I guess not. I guess I should press the doorbell. Did you need something from me? Hmm, should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Yeah, I want to spend some time with her. I suppose a change of pace is necessary sometimes. Fine then. Why don't we take a little break? I spent some time with Kyoko doing nothing in particular. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Uh, no, I, I don't have a present to give. Are you scared, Makoto? Huh? No. Being trapped in a place like this? Who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared, being trapped in this insane school. So. Uh, that's good. That's good? So Fear is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who can't feel fear. <sighs> <sighs> Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. I'm scared too, of course. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. You hide, huh? <laughs> what I mean is, I'm not as foolishly open as you are. Foolishly open? Mm -hmm. Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? What do you mean? You're afraid of what you might lose, right? So. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. I'm sorry. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I know. She didn't bother answering any further. She just turned and... Dad. Goodbye. With that, she was gone. Well, we're still just getting to know each other. Maybe we'll talk more often next time. I don't think I understand her at all yet. Cool. Um, your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Talking to people is so exhausting. I'm the true introvert. Oh, it's night time. Hopefully we spent it. Ah, uh, too bad she didn't teach us how to hide our feelings. Hmm. <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be closed. 
locked and entry at the point is strictly prohibited. Oh yes, Suminasai. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bag bugs bite. The third day here has already come to an end. When will I know? We when are we gonna get out of here? I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. Oh, it's the theater again. I need an immediate, fast acting pick me up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. Like the drug? That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life working on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than backstroke or breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, some seconds later. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Ugh. I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Ugh. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind... Oh, that's interesting. The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Maybe it's Sayaka, baby. Yeah. You're not what I wanted to wake up to. A fantastic morning, isn't it? Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Alright, hi Taka. What's up, Taka? <laughs> <laughs> no matter how intensely the storm seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Um... I'm not sure I understand. So that all, so that all. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you and you can support them back. いい金. That's how you can overcome any storm. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about it last night and I decided we all need to really come together. And that was when I realized Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. And now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. That's all for now. I have to let everyone else know the good news. <laughs> oh. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well... I guess I'd better head to the dining hall. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's say hi to Sayaka. Everyone's meeting up at the dining hall. I should head there myself. So I go to the dining hall. Do you guys want to go to the store? Let's go to the store.
Um, I can't go to the store. Let's go to the dining hall. Let's talk to Toko. I'm sure she's excited to talk to us. Um, Toko? <laughs> what? Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? I know. I just want, need to prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? <laughs> uh, I'm so nervous. Kind of acting weird. What's she so nervous about? Maybe there's someone else we can talk to. Oh. Hey, Leon. <laughs> Ugh. So freaking tired. Ariane. The hell's wrong with that guy? Did he wake you up too? Yeah, he sure did. I guess he's going around waking up everyone. It's seriously annoying. Yeah. I'm going back to bed. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my room. I don't think it'll do any good. I'm sure he'll just come bug you again. Yeah, probably. Damn it. I guess we better just go then. And that's that. Can I go to the women's room? I really need to go. <laughs> nope, I can't go. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna see if there's any other stragglers hanging around. Hey, Junko! <laughs> Makoto! Can't any of you guys get a freaking clue? Huh? My mascara is totally clumpy. I don't want anyone to see me this way, but Taka came in and woke me up. What a dick. You look just the same as yesterday to me. As if it's like night and day. Sorry. Ugh. I seriously need to reapply, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Maybe I'll go see if Celeste can hook me up. And that's that. We've been imprisoned here, and that's what she's worried about right now. Her mascara. Alright, I guess, um... There's no one else that we can bug here. So let's go to the dining hall. I guess I gotta talk to Taka? Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. We're not busy, we're imprisoned here, Taka. I didn't make time for shit, you dragged me here. <laughs> I know, I already mentioned this earlier, but... In order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting, to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat! <laughs> Toko's being really weird. You want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? Nothing at all? Anything it can be about how to get out or who's doing this, nobody has anything? You are going to die. Huh? Huh? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. 
Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? Huh? Yeah, sounds like the girls want to live here, and hell, more power to her. But shit. No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> hmm, sure, feel free. Okay, so nobody has any clues. One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped in here in the first place? Well, sure, it could be something like that, but right now, actual clues are... Huh? What's up? If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre... Do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? A murderous fiend, Chihiro? Do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Certainty is not concerned right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. Jeez, Taka. Okay, well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? <laughs> the monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion? The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene written in the victim's own blood? Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him <laughs> Genocide Jack. That covers it, I think. <sighs> they say he's claimed over a thousand victims. <gasps> That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, like, ten people would be totally insane. <sighs> anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is the ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. Demo. But, like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Ma, but if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? It's okay. Everything's absolutely, positively, 100% without a doubt gonna be okay. Cause help's gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it. Uh huh? Uh, help? We've been stuck in here for a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet you they called the police already. <laughs> The police? You're putting your faith in the police? Sama. What are you doing here? Umaega. You guys, seriously? Do you understand what the role the police exists to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you really want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? <laughs> I mean, come on. If you really, really want to get out of here, all you got to do is kill. <laughs> Why the hell are you laughing? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. You're still going on about that. Because. So Mr. Serial Killer, Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer, Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Oi, oi. We know who you really are. Aww. 
Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun and a couple of days have gone by and nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish and here you are working together, but I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. <laughs> Wait, I think yes. Ding, ding, ding. I figured it out. All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What are you? If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. <laughs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. Stop changing the goddamn subject. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Oh, but don't worry, it's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. Hafumi, don't look so upset right now. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Oh no, that's gonna freak Sayaka out. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Muddy, muddy. <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go to that has everything you need to to watch the video. Good. And then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know... What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know... Oh, so creepy, Monokuma. Despair. That's all. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out yourselves. Do whatever you need to to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. Perhaps. But what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. Same here. Okay, so... Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hey, Makoto! Check this out for us, would ya? Huh? Why me? Because you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? Rule? Hey, 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 hey! Hey! You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Okay. I guess I'll get going then. Uh. Awesome. Thanks. I owe you one. Ano? If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Uh. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on the both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. Hmm. So then, where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... 
if it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then uh, maybe the AV room? Oh, okay, here's the AV room. Huh? There's something in the cardboard box. It's a bunch of DVDs. And each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. I better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood right there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me all of awareness. I was rooted in place. What do you see? Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It'll probably play those DVDs no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. I sorted through the DVDs I found in the box and found the only one with my name on it. Then I slid it into the expensive looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen and then... <gasps> oh! I yelled out without realizing it and my heart started racing. Because what I saw on that monitor, it was my family. Makoto, you getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, there would that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak Academy, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now, it was totally different. I wasn't living an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. Oh my god. Please, don't make them hostages. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. Yeah, it's gonna be something bad. This time, I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice. Of course, it was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Speak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. What's this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? Hello? What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Mm. What's going on? 
Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What's on them? They all gathered around the box and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they rushed to the monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the fuck? <laughs> this can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Yeah, no way it's real. <laughs> no, no way. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw their reactions, I knew. They'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. See? I was right to talk to Kyoko. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to feel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. So this one. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hi. Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war, but both countries want peace and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guards. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kinda sounds like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts we're all afraid someone might betray us. No. Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? Whoa, Leon looks pissed right now. You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What? Boy. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? <laughs> yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. Okay then, maybe we should all start by just talking? Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka? What was in your video, Sayaka? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka. I gently place my hand on her shoulder. She's she's freaking out. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Sayaka? Yamero. Let her go. I, I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. Huh? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Mm. I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to? We don't all have to stick around together, right? Gokigenyo. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. Alright guys, so that is it for this episode of Danganronpa. That was really interesting. I mean, it's true, we weren't killing each other and now Monokuma has given us a reason to motive, so... That's kind of weird. Sorry I had to leave it here and cut it. We'll find Sayaka in the next episode, I promise. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, push that like button, subscribe if you want to see any more games that I play, and then hit that notification bell because I'm definitely going to continue playing Danganronpa and then you'll see the episodes as they come out. Alright guys, I love you so much. Have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!